Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Polybridge 3. Now, last time, we were trying to complete these levels without the bridge breaking at all. So it was sort of a first-time stab. If the bridge breaks, the video ends. Somehow, we got through six levels, then I got greedy trying to chase the leaderboard, and it, and it broke. But it was actually a lot of fun. and made me think like an engineer again. So we're going to be taking on the same challenge. If the bridge fails, the video ends. So this one is called Crossing Streams. Quite a big budget, 42 grand. What have we... Oh, okay, okay. I know what we got to do here. So basically, these two cars, they go at the same time. And you can see the flags are in the opposite corners. So essentially, they've got to sort of jump without hitting each other. Now, that diagonal is going to happen on a bridge here. There's quite a big gap. And I'm a little bit concerned the force of the two cars crashing might make my bridge collapse. But anyway, if we take this road over there and then start ramping up perhaps like that. Oh, I don't know, actually. I don't know. What are we better trying to do like a cat flap? No, I can't do a cat flap because they're going to be going too fast. Like they move 17 meters a second. That's a lot of speed. So yeah, I guess we'll try something like that. I feel like this green car is just going to go straight up and then smash through the bridge. Me try and like steepen this side, perhaps. Anyway, we'll put that in and then... <laughs> I don't know where these cars are going to end up. Is this going to be strong enough? I really don't know. I'm actually really worried. But uh, let's press play. So that does a jump. That does... Ooh. Okay, let's just watch that again in like slow motion. So this car does actually go first before that one moves. So it makes that jump almost perfectly. This one a little bit short. Okay, so let's just have a look. Where does this one land there? Question. We don't have springs to use. But could we get away with trying to land that rally car on this bridge. I'm not going to lie. I feel like it's risky, but I can't really see what else I'm going to do. Oh, okay. It worked. It worked. I mean, it nearly worked. This guy isn't quite up. So a bit of tweaking. Okay. We made it, but we're well over budget. I'm in the bottom 1%, but that's what safety first does for you. Okay. So good news is this works. Bad news is we are well over budget. What I basically need to do is get rid of, get rid of any steel I can. So look, when this lands, it is oh, quite an impact. I'm pretty sure these two could be wood. That one could probably be wood. Then I, I feel like it's just a case of like lifting these up. I'm pretty sure that can be wood. All right, I've still got quite a lot to save. I got like over two grand to save. I can probably get rid of that completely. Yeah, that's nearly the whole budget. I can probably make that wood in there. We're so close to being under budget. Let's just check that this works. Oh yeah, it's fine. It is fine. I'll tell you what, do I even, do I even need that? Because that's well under budget. We got a square there now, which means movement. No, actually, it seems to be fine. Oh, okay, it worked. It worked. And we're under budget. Oh, no, it didn't work. Why did that happen again? Anyway, that's what I'm going for. I'm, I'm not trimming these down at all. I just want to fly through and make sure they're safe. Yeah, we're still 85% stressed. Not that great. We'll have a look in the gallery at the lowest budget. So 12 grand. Look at that. There was so much movement. Pretty much the same design though. Just a point in the middle. Yeah, all of these are fairly similar. This is a cheap one that's actually quite a bit different. Look, it's got a hole in the jump. So if you look, this car on the left jumps over, then ramps up. And then the green car, it goes through the gap. That's quite cool. Yeah, there's a few similar to that. This one's, look how small that little bit of road is. All right, so this is the, although actually, what's going on up there? Oh, look. Okay, so we'll watch this one again, but look on the top right. Like, look at this bit of road. It's like a flappy bit of road, which actually allows the car to get up and do a front flip for style points. If we sort by the highest budget, we've got a fish and it's the Nifty sponsored solution. Coming soon to Nifty fish flavored tea. Mmm, it's fishy and tea. But yeah, on this one, the, the fish actually spits out the green car because it doesn't like that. If they can go up this one... <laughs> Oh, what, what? I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. Followed by the RCE propaganda. Nice. I don't know what was under there. Actually, I should probably check. What was... Oh, okay. It was one of those. It was one of those things under there. This one, they did the jump, but then they did like a little... Just like a little bridge up in the air. Because the two cars, they want separated roads. They don't want to share. All right. And then we got this one. What is going on here? Wait, what? How's the other car not got... Oh, no way. Okay, we actually need to watch that again. Okay, so look at the very start. The the DeLorean is deflected up. Wait, look there. Can you see that? It's deflected up on top to use a bridge. And then it comes along and there's a catch which allows this car to be released. Therefore, you only need one bridge. No jumps. Zerd, that was absolutely insane. Pat on the back from Matt. Anyway, the next level is called Power Line. We've only got road and wood, but we got 20 grand to play with. Oh my goodness, that is a power line. And oh, look. 
the level is darkened out. So if we look at this, we've got to build over that power line. I mean, I guess technically we could go under. Oh, this is actually going to be a test because we don't have rope or steel or anything. Okay, well, to start with, I'd imagine an arch for the road will be the strongest way of doing this. The question is, though, do I... Do I put like an under truss or do I put an over truss? Because if I want to do an over truss, I've got to bring the road down. So I can't actually build road like outside of the of the light square. I think we'll do an under truss. I feel like a, a more arched road will be stronger. So if we go push onto that, then we can build our truss underneath. Now, what I'm thinking is I want to use a wall brace. So how oh, I can go quite low with that, actually. And obviously, as we get to the middle, we don't need to support as much road. So it can and probably reduce a lot more than that. We'll copy that to the other side. How's that looking on budget? 15 grand. Oh, actually, careful. Careful, Matt. Look, they've been very cheeky and they've they put a little cut in. So that wouldn't have been a wall brace. So hence, I've just got to move this node right down into that corner. Right. And then do we think that's strong enough? Can I just press play? I reckon it probably is. OK, it's strong enough. It's strong enough. How's the stress? Oh, it's up to 50. But we're good. We're good. We did it first time. Oh, that was good. I was a tiny bit worried then. What are we? We're in the bottom 20%. I feel like I should try and trim it to the, so I'm in the top 50% at least. Although, check out the stress. Top 3% of low stress. But yeah, in terms of a factor of safety, I reckon, I reckon we're way too high. So let's bring these up and basically just do that. Then we'll copy that to the other side. I've just lifted up that wall brace a bit just so it's above that gap. That's a lot cheaper. I reckon it should still be strong enough. Starting stress is 40% or up to 65. Oh man, stress is still so low. I could go really cheap on this one, I reckon. In the top 41%, I could stop, but I sort of want to keep trying. Now, I know if I delete that, that will make the bridge a lot less stable, but it's also going to be a lot cheaper because I'm using one less part. The question is, does it still work? Yeah, stress went up to oh, 81%. But it worked. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could then reduce these even more. Okay, so I've trimmed it down a bit more, up to 13,306 quid. I probably could go like quite a bit cheaper, but I reckon I reckon let's not push it. Let's just let's just do that. We'll have a look at the stress. Oh my good. Oh my goodness. No, no, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Okay, that, that was quite a lot of stress. 93.24% stress. And we're only in the top 24%. So yeah, it was this piece in the middle. Look how bright red that goes. Oh, same over this side. Those two pieces. But yeah, I feel like we've pushed our luck enough on the safety. Let's go have a look in the gallery. Oh, look at that. It was one of those dodgy dangling roads. The new ones for Polybridge 3. 4,000 quid that cost. Yeah, any legit ones about anywhere? I mean, they're all sort of just dangly roads, to be honest. I mean, there's a banana. Someone did a banana bridge out of road. I mean, oh man, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much all of these go underneath. This is the first one that goes over. 11 grand. Oh, wow. The movement in there. So that was similar to mine. But if you look, can you see down here? They don't have a truss under that piece. So it's sort of the, the two wall braces. And then there's like a span in the middle. So the bit in the middle sort of starts at that point, finishes at that point over there. Of course, it made the bridge very, very wibbly, which is a technical term. But uh, it was a lot cheaper than mine. And yeah, basically, it looks like I should have not gone as high. I went way too high with my bridge, therefore costing a lot more. Pretty much all of these over solutions, they, they sort of cross like just above the wires. All right, this one. Oh, that's a bit of a bilf. That is a bit of a bilf. You've got like the eye truss returning there. I then got this one, which is very, very similar to mine uh, and very, very expensive as well. Although it's only a little bit more expensive than mine. So I guess just not many two people have completed this level. Anyway, the next one is called U-Turn. We got 55 grand. And what is what what what's going on here? There's buildings all over the place. So what actually happens? The car goes. OK, OK, so the car is there. It travels right. But it's a car with wheels that are bigger than the body. So it can travel upside down potentially. So it looks like we've got to get it up onto here. Although then that is a spin around her. How does that work? I don't know. For now, let's do a nice curve like around like that. So if I just truss this up like that, I can then support it under this side. Oh, there is actually, I can, I can put weight on that. Okay, that's cool. So if I just make all of this steel, then we should be fine, at least to see if it works. So I'm just trying to think if we jump around, we should hopefully end up there, possibly upside down. Oh, okay. So I landed there. Oh, then 
it carries on going that way. Oh, I guess because it's upside down, the wheels would be trying to move right. But then because it flips, it goes left. Yeah, either way, if we watch this with the stress. On oh, man, look how high the stress went to. Went up to like 90% a couple of times. I was very close to failing that. I just realized how big of a jump we're doing as well. So I can probably get away with like bringing this down a bit. So what if we try that? Oh, man, that stress goes high. But it gets up there fine. Okay, what do I... That's eight grand. Because I'm looking at my budget. I've got... Oh, I've got 14 grand left, really. So if I can gain another eight... I'm not actually sure that was doing anything. Let's try. Oh, it worked. It just about worked. It did just about work. Okay, so now we just need a bridge over here. So if we do a straight line up to like there-ish, go boosh. And then we'll use that cheeky little gap down there. And I reckon uh, over under arch sort of thing, sort of like that. But obviously we'll use steel so that we can stretch, make it down to there. Nice. Okay, I reckon if I just, if I just steal this bit, I can probably get a way with... Oh, I can't quite get rid of all of those. Shall I try and get under budget in my first attempt? So surely I can just lower these middle bits. Right, there we go. We are under budget. Let's see. We know the first bit works. Will this bit hold? Oh, it does. Oh man, that's so fast. Where are you going? I'm in the bottom 1% of budget. Oh no. But yeah, the speed this goes, how does this made me sort of think? Do I need an entire bridge? Or would it be better trying to like jump this? Because I want to get into the top 50%. So I probably need to spend about 35 grand, I reckon. So, well, I guess first place to save some cash is probably this side like i could definitely get rid of that and swap with a swap with an under support whether i need any of these supports at all not actually sure if i do that and that that should work better for the stress it's going to bring the weight of this down to this anchor so let's watch this as the stress goes round so yeah it actually doesn't get as stressed I don't think. Um, but it looks like I can probably replace these end bits with wood. I mean, do I even need those? Potentially not. Okay, that worked. We've saved like five grand. I may be able to replace all of these trusses with wood as well. This is risky. This... Oh, those middle ones went red. <laughs> Oh, God. Yeah, this end, I can probably get away with doing that. I mean, actually, do I need that? Could we get away with that? I might put steel back in there. But yeah, that's a shorter... No, 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 no. <gasps> does that count as a break? I, like, stopped it before it hit, but it does look like it broke. I'm going to say that doesn't count because it wasn't the bridge breaking. It was the car not jumping far enough. And But yeah, probably want to try and make the jump a little bit longer because it didn't actually hit that checkpoint. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's good. That is good. So middle piece, that muscle can also be wood. I feel like that's probably as much as I want to do on this side. Although, can I save 10 grand on that? I don't think I can. Yeah, I'd need approximately that much bridge in order to get to that top 50% place. I mean, I do actually have rope and cable, but can I just do like a really smooth jump? If we had a jump like that, that could work. So I'd probably want rope up to there and then rope to, well, maybe all of these. Probably do cable on that side. Maybe add a bit of under support. Oh, do I risk that? Is that going to break? Or me? Oh, oh, I did it. It did it. It actually worked. Let's just see how much stress this was actually put under. Could I swap that cable with rope? Here it goes fairly red. What about this steel underneath? Does that go red? Not really. Potentially delete that and then swap that with wood because that's the 35 grand mark I was aiming for. Are we in the top 50%? Are oh, we in the top 34%? Well, I'm going to trust my engineering instincts. We're going to delete that. 32 grand. Let's have a look. I'm doing this in slow motion because I'm scared. Remember, if the bridge breaks the video ends oh it's good it's good and the jump is made we're now in the top 25 percent let's just watch this cable one more time can we make that rope i don't think it's worth taking the risk if i'm honest but i just have let's see what happens yes it made it it made it oh that's good top 23 percent okay we'll move on from there the cheapest prices were eight grand eight what did tyler do it as 18 okay in the gallery lowest budget is what the frig is that what the tiniest jump. Man, having unlimited tries allows you to save so much more money. But you can sort of see it's all about getting the smallest jump there and then a smallest jump. But look at this one. There's a tiny bit of road there helping him to get up. Yeah, this one. Is that like Elon Musk's son or daughter? Is that like one of their names? I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, 
pretty similar setup. It's all about shrinking the number of road pieces you need, shrinking your budget with it. Oh, look at this one. They start the jump early. Because then their jump isn't hanging off the edge like these are. Because that needs to be quite strong. They got bits of road under there. Stop it breaking. But yeah, and the highest budget. What have we got? We got like ants. Oh no, it's a Nifty sponsored solution. Nifty now containing ants. Nifty takes no responsibility for any ants that may have escaped into your pants from drinking the product. So this one. Oh, they haven't. I thought that was a strong... Oh, it was a stronger shape. It was RCE coming down. Uh, we got one of them. Yep. And we have some quite trussy solutions. Look at that from Peaches. But anyway, on to the next level. Arch support. Now, oh no, look. It's one of those darkened out levels. So we can only build within the light area. Oh no, we've only got 10 bits of steel. Oh, this could be the last level we do today. <laughs> okay, well, as we know, road is stronger in an arch. So what I'm thinking, let's go over to over to there with the road. We'll go boosh into place. Now we have this node up there. So we could dangle. Is that the crane? Yeah, there's a crane up there. Very convenient. But what I'm thinking, we've got a node down there. So we probably want to use some form of wall support. I've just realized we've only got 10 bits of steel though, haven't we? We could probably do that. Do another bit of steel, paste another one of those on, and then maybe another bit of steel. I'm essentially just doing like a repeating pattern here of like that sort of thing. And then from this point, maybe if I try and do that, yeah, from there, then we can do a truss on top and then hang that from up there. By the way, sorry if you can hear banging in the background. Paddy's like, he's asleep and his tail is wagging. He's having like a good dream. And he keeps like wagging his tail into the ground really loudly. But yeah, right. Oh man, I was tempted to try that, but we're we're, at, we're only at 45 grand of our 60 grand budget. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to support these ends with rope. And then actually, if I delete those, maybe put steel up to that point. So up to 54 grand. I feel like that should work, but have I missed something? Is this just going to flex? I don't think it should. I feel like all the joints are sort of locked because that is essentially a triangle. Oh, I'm so scared to press play. I don't know what to do. All right, I'm pressing play. Four, ah, oh, I've up to 80%. Is it Okay. It's okay. I think it's okay. It's okay. We made it. We did it. Oh, it worked. It worked. All right. Aliens Rock got 13th on that one. I am 6,226th, but my bridge has never broken. So trying to shave money here. I think I just want to watch this with the stress on. So you can see these ropes are very, very, very stressed. I'm not sure. If I were to get rid of like the middle one, would that put more stress onto those? Probably. If I were to delete those two, that should put more stress onto the... Onto the structure underneath which i probably want because like we got steel down here we may as well use it question is though what do i i mean i guess the safest things to do first is try without the middle one so how's the stress it went up to 82 percent oh it stopped to 97 percent Oh, oh no, that was not good. It went up to 97%. Am I in the top half yet? Oh, not quite. Oh no, I am. Top 49%. That's in the top half. Well, let's have a look in the gallery at the cheapest options. Oh my goodness, someone made someone made a swing, a trapeze. <laughs> no way. How much was that? 9,400 quid. Someone did another one. I think this one doesn't. I think the last one broke. This one doesn't break. It's 20 grand. Look at the movement on that end as well. So this one has a little bridge over to a trapeze and then another bridge on that end. Man, that was definitely the cheapest way of doing <laughs> Oh, I can't believe these. Uh, oh, the next one is you do suspend from the top from two cables as well. I'll tell you what, that design's actually pretty similar to mine. Although obviously no steel underneath. So much cheaper. But yeah, pretty much all of these, they suspend from the thing in the middle. So that was the cheapest way of doing it. Don't build a bridge for it tries to support itself. Although look, this one does support itself and it's cheaper than mine, but only just. Anyway, in the highest budget we've got... <laughs> Not another one? But then we've got loads of like nice little bill funds. So check out that. That is a lot of truss work. I'm loving that. This one, very nice under and over arch there. This one, what is that in the mid? Okay. Okay. It's one of those. Cheers for that. Okay. So for layers or layers, as Mary Berry calls them. It's got to be stiff enough to pipe. We got 55 grand, a load of materials. Uh, so essentially on this one, I think you go and then you go afterwards. Okay. So most simple thing to do 
obviously, is Line to Awesome Road. Boosh over that way. Oh, how do we do this, actually? I feel like we want truss on the top, but also underneath to make it strong. Yeah, if we make all of these trusses really, really big, the idea is we want to just turn the stress off. We want to try and get the road on top. So that just about works. If we then do that, is it going to bit. Oh, the stress went up to 92%. That was nearly video over. Okay, so that worked. That end was not ideal though. I might move that back a bit and then do another piece like there because essentially you want to try and build a bridge like that. So yeah, that works. We then just got to... Oh, kids, you're going to have a dodgy journey to school. But yeah, we got to try and get a bridge over to there so they can come up and on there. I'm going to have to make this side a lot stronger in order to support these kids. But uh, I also want to do it for as cheaply as possible. So add some wall braces in, add an arch over the top. So I got a bridge on that side. I reckon that probably should be strong enough. It's just a case of how to make this stronger. Well, and I gotta I gotta sort out that end as well, because that isn't gonna work with the bus. Probably gonna need that sort of thing. All right, so it might be worth if I remove that, I can then steal that and that, because then I can lift that to a bit of a better spot so it's a bit smoother. This end probably want to do the same. Maybe steal those two just so I can make them nice and smooth. Because we're still pretty cheap. Question is, do I think that will work? I might just to play it safe. Let's just double support that. Okay, let's try. I mean, I sh oh, should I have? That bridge looks risky. I probably should have put some steel on this side. Ah, 80, 91. Oh, okay, but it's working. It is working. And now this one. Yeah, stress. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, I was going to say stress was fine, but it went up to quite high levels. Sorry if I sound like a monkey there. I was uh, <laughs> I was pretty worried. Oh, I'm in the top 25% already. No way. Oh, and I beat Tyler. He hasn't even attempted this level yet. Okay, right. With the stress on, can I get rid of those underneath? Maybe. How stressed does that get? Pretty stressed, to be honest. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm not convinced I actually need those. Could I get rid of both? Oh, 33 grand. Oh, okay, it made it. It made it. I literally didn't say anything throughout that, so there's actually probably no footage you saw of it actually happening. But it happened. We're in the top 8%. I haven't even had a proper go at trying to trim this thing. Like, do I need that piece? Right, it's looking good. It's looking good. Oh, I went up to 91%. Oh, oh why do I do this to myself? All right, can I swap that? That's a thousand quid. If I swap it with that, what does that cost? 600. What if I muscle it as well? 1100. Okay. It's a case of do I need steel there? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Okay. Stays green. Good sign. Will it stay green when the kids come across? Oh yeah, that is fine. That is absolutely fine. I'm going to do the same on this end as well then. Pretty sure I can shrink these a little bit. All right. And then these bits of steel, can I swap them with wood? just by doing that. I mean, I can, but that went very, very orange. I feel like the bus is probably heavier. Oh, this could be risky. Please, please, no! Okay, well, before I got greedy, I did get to the top 5%. So we're in the top 500. Uh, let's have a look in the gallery at the cheapest solution. So it cost 12 grand. Oh, the stupid dangling roads. But what is going on over here? So, wait. Oi, I was trying to look at that, you knob. Oi, so it looked like, did it just have a gap up there? So the green car fell down and the school bus with a lot of patience. I think this is sped up a lot, but the school bus gets across the gap. Interesting. So yeah, they all seem to follow that method of having a little gap for that one because then you only need one bridge on the right. So it's half as many roads as like what mine had oh, and none in the middle as well. So even fewer. All right, this one doesn't have road or double road, but uh, how does this work then? So I can see that above. Oh, it hits a little catch. Oh, that makes that go up, which means the bus can drive straight over. That's cool. That's really cool, Soul Wager. Yeah, it looks like this one has a similar thing and it just bounces rather than having a catch though. I guess the timing of the bounce made the green car go under and the bus go over. Wow. Now, oh, this is one with a double bridge, but done really cheaply. And look at the, look how it gets up. So it's, it doesn't go all the way to that node like mine did. It uses a lot less road. They've saved like 10 grand compared to mine. Fair play. Uh, looking at the highest budget. 
Why? Why? Just why? Uh, we've then... Yep, yeah, okay. We got that. Yeah. Ooh, and a cable stayed solution. So each bridge is sort of cantilevered off the middle there. But yeah, since my bridge did fail, I'm going to go into this one and I'm just going to have some fun with it. So we're going to do tower bridge. All right, so what have we got going on here? So RV, that will fall down. And yeah, okay. So there's no anchors up the top. So we sort of need to build up. I guess that's why it's called tower bridge. So for cheap solutions, what I want to have a little try at doing, if I bring a bit of road up to there, we've got that, but it's not connected to anything. So I think the only way to do that, annoyingly, would literally be like a stick like that. I just want to, I mean, I don't want it to do that. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm going to try a few different ideas, which means it's engineering time. Oh, good. Text. Text. What are they good for? Absolutely nothing. Oh, good. Text. What are they good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again, y'all. Text. What are they good for? Absolutely. Listen to me. All right, so I got it down to 34 grand and 69 quid. Nice. nice. Uh, if I turn the stress on, you can see the road goes so red. So it's not actually the pieces above. Though I have I have had to use steel for the most part. But uh, let's see where we are on here. Top 1%. We were in the top 2% on our very first try at this. Now the top scores are like 13, 16 grand. What? So I'm pretty sure if we head to the gallery and do lowest budget, it's probably going to be going down because they were quite cheap when I tried that. Oh no, are they just cheesing? Yeah, so it was all about trying to use gravity to get down and then build a bridge up. Oh wow, I'm surprised it was that much cheaper going down as well. I did do a bridge where I nearly made it going that way, but it was just getting a bit too expensive. So I thought maybe going up and over was the best shout. Even that's cheaper than mine. Okay, I'm questioning whether I am actually an engineer. Why Why did I do an arch bridge? Why didn't I use these supports? Anyway, highest budget. Oh, look at the trusses on that. That is what we like to see. We've then got, we've then got that. We've got oh, an insane cable stay slash mega truss under there. This one cable stayed with the RCE propaganda. Love to see that. Now, very neat trusses under there. And oh, look, these are quite tidy as well. Fair play. Oh, man. Look at the truss work on that. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm getting all hot and bothered. All right. Well, next time we've got the final level of this world to do. I might go back and like try and get some decent scores on this for when Tyler takes it on. Don't want him thinking he's better engineer than me or anything. But for now, I'll say peace, love and bridges. Bye, guys.